Uh, sure, let's go. It's not gonna end well. Okay, not a bad starting location. The problem is, of course, you know, we might get a bad location round three, round four, round five, which would be the worst thing. Otherwise, you know, doable. I saw a couple of things for Santiago. Puente Santiaguito. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find that, but yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and move and have a look at the signs. I think they might have a highway number for us, because that's, I think, where we are. Uh, Retorno, the famous town of Retorno, guys. Oh, so many references to it. Must be a huge place. It's suddenly gotten cloudy. It's probably a good sign. Oh, again, Retorno, so famous. I honestly don't want to go in any more in this direction. Come on, man, don't give me the slow click. Fucking Retorno, we can't escape his gravitational pull. I know, right? It's like, it's almost like it's not unique. Uh, but I refuse to believe in the lack of uniqueness of Retorno. Kilometer 64. Pues magnifico. What about the road number? Do we have that? Okay, and you're just gonna be a yellow... Oh, no, okay, this is this is probably the Retorno uh, pictogram. It feels like if the word is so common, you know, you could probably translate it into symbols. So people don't have to wait precious moments reading. Ah? Uh? Hmm. Sus. No, I'm gonna call bluff on that. Wait, is it? What? No. Interstates are US made. What are you saying? That's some good rims. I would expect to find 66, you know, it's a little bit more famous, but I'm just thinking, does the 75 come anywhere near the Mexican border? 10, 35, 37, 19, 8. Not at a glance, no. Route 66. Oh, yeah, it's not interstate. You're right, it's route 75 is too far east okay so i wonder what's the reference here why is did they just go for a random interstate and that's it it's just we're just that hipster fuente santa ana izquierda saint anne of the left limited spanish leads to funny situations santa ana santa ana well there's abundance of that i'm guessing that's a good old retorno i shan't despair the starting location was very good we did have an intersection so it was definitely doable uh, if we ever find a road sign number Whatever. San Isidro. I mean, names do sound familiar, but I think mostly from Spain rather than from Mexico. Maybe it's just their way of saying we're on Mexican Federal Road 75. That's probably not a stupid idea. C18 Jalisco. 70 as well. Well, can we get something in between? I see there's very little logic to where the numbers go, but it's fine. We've seen worse. At least it's a big, relatively empty country. I think I prefer that over tightly knit and those are very difficult to scan through for roads 70 80 it's just trolling me a little bit so 74 on the west coast okay 76 74 okay that's the one so maybe in between doesn't look like it really but at this point i see 175 it's a bit weird and a bit targeted if you ask me because every time i look for a specific road number i'll find the adjacent ones like why weren't we looking for 76 for example not 75. So this possibly means that making a 25k in Mexico is just going to be like a, a three-day ordeal at best of just clicking down a straight road. Oh, shit, my life. Why am I going in the right direction? Yeah. I was going south before, I'm still going south. All right, so it should be fine. What is there in the distance for us to look forward to? It's just road. No one willing to grab an area? And, like, for us to start scanning the map for those villages to try and take a poke at where this could be. I'm probably gonna say not Yucatan, and that actually takes care of a lot of the country. Um, but yeah, try to find a highway that lines up. Uh, so overall, we're going east-west, I guess, through a valley, on a horse of no name. Uh, sort of northwest. Something like this would fit. But yeah, it's a bit of a long shot, no? I didn't bother on reading what's on the trucks, because, yeah... As I was saying earlier, not, not highly stationary objects. But maybe I will, because... Guadalupe de los Sauces, okay? Guadalupe of the Saus. She's more commonly known as, known as the Saus Paus. Oh, give me signs, please, I'm losing my sanity. Oh, 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 there we go, 49. So I have no idea what the reference to 75 was, but what we need for full uh, happiness is a uh, number 49, so let's go for that. 45, 44, 49, there we go. Going through the Rio Grande. So this is the general direction of it. Is this where we start now? Egruyo, Juan Aldama. No, I haven't heard of any of those. Santa Clara? 
12 de diciembre, no, Las Palomas, no, Santa Cruz, no, wait, well, 49, right, yeah, 49, uh, and then you continue through here, and then this is 34, but this is 49, Jesus Christ, 49, and then where do you continue as 49, come on, don't be, don't be difficult, this is a 49D, maybe it stops here, it's possible, 49D, ah, ha, ha. now it continues, and that's a 45, 69, nice, uh, 30, but no, 49 kind of finishes here. I don't see it immediately after where it disappears, so... I'm gonna hope. So we go south from here, I'm guessing. So where did we come from? Here. We haven't found any intersection with any other highway, have we? It was just, um, signs to go to villages, or we were going through villages, in other words. Because then it becomes a little bit of a mess again. East of Fresnillo. San Juan de Saldo, Santo Domingo, Yerba Buena, hmm. Ah, San Isidro, oh, yeah, I see. There is indeed a one here. No, I don't think the angles would match or anything else, but still good, good spotted. Santa Ana too. It's getting a little bit too coincidental, isn't it? Let me go over the hill a little bit. Now, I would say overall east-west-ish on the directions. So I have it here right now. I see that 49 here as well, going to San Luis Potosí, so maybe here is better. But yeah, the road just kind of pops in and out as it pleases. Another Santa Ana you saw already? Maybe it could be the correct one, because this one seems to be at a better angle. San Isidro, Santa Ana, there we go. Wait, where is that Guadalupe of the sauce? Oh, was it? Aha, there it is, yes, you're absolutely right, just a little bit further from the road, yeah. Um, let's go to the beginning. So this is to Santiago. There, there is Santiago here, so I think maybe we could be on this one. As long as the angle matches, it's just a full send and that's it. Yeah. I gotta say this feels good for round one, it's taken long enough for it to be... For it to be correct. Yeah, full snap, I agree. Oh, excellent. A streak of one, 12 meters away, and this was the route taken to figure this out. Awesome. Okay, next, uh, doable. So far, so good. Feels maybe a little bit more Yucatani than before, a little bit flatter. El Atrio del Mayab, is that what it says? Regional Cuisine, okay. Of which region, Mayab? It almost feels like we could do it NM, if I had no idea what is Mayab, or is it just Maya? But yeah, I did say it kind of felt like this is just that it's gonna be way too difficult to pinpoint without moving nice park next to us to help us pinpoint later uh, cop cop shop no top <laughs> i'm gonna go somewhere else uh, as in move don't want to abandon this round and the dude is wearing a merida uh, shirt let's have a look if that could be the case i doubt it merida i think is a bit too big for what we have here but you know worth worth a plong for now and then we'll see what else do we find because it feels like the town center already where we are i've never been but on the map it looks relatively chunky ciudad heroica is that actually the name of it or is it just uh their motto or something like that I appreciate the Hercules font as well, by the way. Don't let it go unnoticed. Uh, motto, probably. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like... Hello. That's her name, and this is Valladolid. A little bit too big, no? Valladolid. Or maybe this is okay. El Meson, Las Campañas, Las Atrio. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, yeah. Not too big. No, no, no. You're absolutely right. I think the reason why it looked like it was a bit too big at a glance is because it's kind of the biggest thing there. Um, so yeah, but I, when I zoomed in, it's just perfect. Again, city skylines vibes. Anyone else? When you see when you see a map like this. So looking straight south, we're looking past the wall of the church. Should be all right. Sned, three meters away, and this is how much we needed to move. Excellent Spanish colonial church with tall towers. Perfect description. Hey. Could be good, could be bad. I think it could be all right. Okay, we're in bottom floor of whichever shopping center this is. I see a Forever 21, the shops. We could do some window shopping while we're here. But there's normally some information, right? Telling you about maybe public transport or something. Maybe where we are. Tell you what streets are surrounding us. And once we get a view out the window, maybe it will be easier to tell as well. Oh my god, I haven't seen a Motorola ad in forever they actually make smartphones wow 
I'm kind of glad to see that they're still alive. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I reckon either very touristic -y or big city. I, I wouldn't expect this to be in somewhere like Valladolid where we just threw it, you know? Well, Valladolid is quite touristic -y actually, but I was thinking more of like seaside resort. I was thinking specifically um, Playa Carmen or something like that, Punta Cana. Uh, immediately, but it feels like everyone's wearing long sleeve and jumpers, so I'm not gonna jump to those conclusions. Mangas Largas raise suspicions. By the way, if anyone's looking for a band name, Mangas Largas is not taken. Galeria Serdan is most likely the name of the shopping center, and that's their logo, which kind of fits the plan. Uh, next to an Apple store, next to a CNA. It's actually where most of my t-shirts come from. Cops everywhere? No, that's just you being paranoid. <laughs> Look, it says Zacatecas. <laughs> happy times, happy noises. Um, Galeria, Zacatecas, maybe it's this one? No. Wrong shape. And I hope it's to do with, uh, with the shopping center where we are. It feels a little bit out of the way to be advertised otherwise. It could be outside of the city as well. Now I'm seeing very small places. What does this have to do with Zacatecas? Experience Zacatecas. Ah, okay. It's still a little bit misleading, but I don't think this was set up for geoguessing purposes, was it? I mean, for all I know, it kind of feels redundant to say visit Zacatecas if you're in Zacatecas, right? I'm pretty sure. We're definitely in the state of Zacatecas. That's a good shout, actually. I didn't remember that. Fresnillo? Because I'm just thinking, what, what other city would have a shopping center this big? Let's have a look at you. Bodega? I mean, I mean come on, I'm seeing bodegas at this distance. I'm not seeing any galerias. Because we keep getting the shape of the shopping center as well, and that's what's in their logo. So I'm fairly confident that's what we will see on the map. You said we're definitely. Because I have questions about visiting Zacatecas when you're in Zacatecas. State or city. Honestly, it looks like any shopping center in Spain. It's just that everything's in dollars instead of euros. Why don't they use pesos? Or do they mark pesos as dollars? But let's go upstairs. If it lets us. No, I don't think so. Awesome. We're next to the car park already, yeah. Honda deals, visit the Honda Serdan. It's probably again just gonna be of the street name, is it? It's not gonna be of the city. Because sometimes you get like, visit Honda, you know, insert city name here. But I think they're just still referring to the street name. There's one in Mexico City and another one in Puebla. Might have a look at those two real quick. Because, as I said, it's a fairly recognizable shape. There we go. I was gonna say I would agree with the fact that um, it sh we shouldn't be in Zacatecas, and that's it. That was my my ham-fisted approach to it. Shops are gonna be repeated in every shopping center, so that's nothing nothing unique. But I'm hoping that we started somewhere here, looking at the escalator. Yeah, no, 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 you're absolutely on point. It was one of the two. GG, man. We'll need to play that map later. 5K might be hard. It all depends on how accurate it is, right? But let's go back to the beginning, so we can at least get our bearings. So we're looking north here, okay, so it's gonna be not here. Okay, so the escalator has to be behind me. And I'm not paying attention to the names of shops, because I know that they move within the same shopping center, so that's no news. I'm just going with, with what the compass gives me, and the fact that the infrastructure agrees with it. Which is corners of shops poking out, so we're a little bit further back, I would say, looking into that naughty corner. Not exactly on the edge of it, but something like that should be alright. And then there's a cutoff point between one shop and another, which is this, so... Should be something like that, and this is within... Yeah, it should be accurate, right? Anyone? It, it, it's, it's Google. It is Google. I know you can't see it, but it is official coverage. So as long as it's official coverage, and even though it's it's a lad walking rather than a lad or a lad driving, it should still be accurate, right? Is what I've been told about Google trackers. Not an airy. No, 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 no. None of that. There's only one way of finding out in any case. Yeah, you see? It's all good. Only three meters away. And look, this is our beautiful route through the through the shopping center. Um, so yeah, made it halfway through. Beautiful. Very, very um, scenic. Lovely, lovely Mexico. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> wow, um, I need to get a 25k on this, I need to put this in YouTube. <laughs> oh, Mr. Oil 99 thank you very much for the follow, welcome to the channel. Payback, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, even though we never done, we never done this, this is the first time, right? <laughs> Giza has to be caps, maybe, yeah.
there are multiple temples. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do this NM. I don't think so. I, I mean, I haven't looked around. I haven't seen if there's a touristy sign behind us or anything, but um, at least it's gonna be a point of interest. It's gonna be, you know, mapped out and everything. So that's good. This is the Itza, isn't it? We'll probably check that first. And it looks like if it is, the, the main courtyard is gonna be over there. So we're in the very southern bit of it. So let me go ahead and zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, so Chichen Itza. Lots of POIs. Grand Mayan temple with carved columns. No, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a small pyramid. The remains of a unique Mayan observatory. God, I really want to travel there. I don't necessarily think that we need to be here. This is all I can say at this point. Too small for a chicken pizza? Yeah, itself? Yeah, for sure. I just thought it was one of the adjacent little ones, you know? These temples are distributed around the south. So you reckon it's not going to be Chichen itself, Itza? Uh, it's gonna be something closer maybe to the border of Guatemala, Belize, somewhere here maybe. Go find a souvenir shop, yeah. Because I think the way that the path goes, if it continues, it continues through there, but I doubt it. I think it just circles here, and then if we're lucky, we can get out through there. If we're really unlucky, this is all we get. Nah, I'll need to move. I'll need to move and, as Meatloaf said, go find a souvenir shop, and that will help with a healthy, healthy plonk. Why is this a Gen 2 trekker? Lugar del Maíz, Colorado. Colorado, send... You've been there, near Costa Maya, you reckon? Okay, that's that's really important. Let's have a look. Uh, Costa Maya is... Zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, is it here by any chance? Or am I thinking of the wrong place? Mahahual? Aha. Mahaha. At your ben. Where would I find you? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. So this is the town of, I'm assuming, and then uh, maybe some sort of point of interest nearby. So apart from there being a town by that name, I'm guessing that there should be, as I said, a point of interest. Any further guidance? Because this has really been not bad so far. Shouldn't be too far from the town, you imagine? Yeah, same. I was literally thinking, I see Cenotes mapped out and stuff like that, so, you know, it's much smaller, I would say, than, than what we have here. Plus, you know, if it was closer to Pedro San Antonio Santos, why not be named after that, or Chula Vista, or something? Limon is my ruin. I mean... No, we're not here. Okay, we did find this. Let's have a look for more things. Because I don't know if, if any of you spotted anything promising on the map, but... Not myself. I'm just looking for more information, because if that's the only little lonely pyramid that we found... It feels like a bit too much of a build-up for one object, wouldn't you say? Then this is what uh, us leaving. Okay, let's go to the sign. I think that's gonna actually help. And then checking inside of the park. Okay, so... 307 I think is what it says and there's a Merida sign yeah 307 and 186 to Chetumal and Tulum which is going east southeast I would call it 307 okay so that's a good sign and what's the other one 186 but wait is it again is it going towards them I'm a bit lost and you are assigned if it says retorno Chetumal 186 and Cacho Ben it's just here with a Maya pyramid. Okay, so this is going off to the west. Makes very little se uh, sense. So this is what we got. So wait, Chetumal would be going south? Yeah, correct. And Merida would be going up north. Yeah, also not a bluff. Am I on the right road? Let me just quickly check that. I don't think so. No, this ain't it. I got way too excited in the beginning. We were just in Chichen Itza and that's it. The problem is, I really hope it's not this. There's nothing mapped out along the way. So something of this angle, very, very little makes sense. Like, honestly, I can't find anything nearby this. Unless, wait. But it doesn't make sense, because then the road to Kachiaben would be going north. What the hell is going on here? No, it doesn't really fit this road either. I'm well confused. I think this is this is being a bit too distracting and um, misleading. It's a town. It's just a town. It's just a couple of shops and a church and a park. And that's it. It's exactly the same name as what we're looking for, but yeah. I did have some road numbers. 184 and 186. So 184 to Merida is here. And 186 is past Chetumal here. And it did say 307 on here as well, going to Chetumal and Tulum. I'm gonna assume it's somewhere on the way. But yeah. So it could be as far up as here for to go towards 184. You reckon I'll be on the 307? 
Because that's what I was thinking, that's what would make sense to me, it's just that the, the compass is completely not aligned. Wait, there's a bit here. But no, again, the compass is just not right. The only one that I found that would fit was this bit of the road here. One of these bits. But it's getting a little bit too far away, isn't it? And, st and Sean did say that he saw some water earlier on. But apart from this lake, this is so very confusing. Because look, I just came out onto the highway. Or a road, or whatever. It says going back here, southwest, is Chachoben. And yeah, Chatumal is 186 going southish. It should, right? That's what I was expecting as well. I, d I didn't think that it was going to be so um, so difficult to match. Because I can't even match the entrance to, to, to Chachio Ben. Are we just to assume that the compass is dead wrong? Or something like that? Because I have heard rumors of Mexico and its compass. But this will be a severe, severe thing. Maybe find Chetumal and go north from it. Yeah, but the thing is, Chetumal will be will be far away. Oh, you mean just scan the map from here on the 307? Because the only thing I would be looking for is the angle, and I can I can see already that none of this would match. Because we need we need something going northwest. It's not a bad shout, but it doesn't match. It's still going the opposite way. What about the 293 road? Where is it? I don't think it had an angle that matched, and then we we would be south of of that and this is going south already so we're north of it right the pyramid thing is just completely not mapped out and look even the bus stop agrees with us chacho ben am i not just on the 186 let's have a look if it matches i thought i had a look at it but let's see 186 was way down here wasn't it yeah i mean i'm not saying there might be a same or similar sounding town none of it really 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 matches does it here, maybe there's a bit that almost matches, but again, not really. 186, 186, and yeah, then we're in Chetumal, and it's definitely not gonna be there. And that's where it gets really, really confusing to me. They have Cenotis mapped out, and this and that, but come on. It just feels like we have too much information for me to even move, you know? But it's just nothing matches, stupid. They found the location quite quickly, with good guidance. There's only one lonely road here doesn't have any points of interest and the, and the angle doesn't match either we didn't have any reference points to 293 i don't know it was telling us to take 184 to go to to merida it's really 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 bizarre we've been looking at this now for a while and i think it's time to move so chetumal 78 kilometers felipe carillo i didn't i don't remember puerto maybe 82 on the 307 which you know which matches with what blobfish said earlier it, it does make sense if we were on that road all of a sudden it's just not a single bit of that road makes sense but chetumal being 78 kilometers away what would i say here somewhere maybe maybe that's a bit too close i don't have a scale or anything with a compass none of it makes sense i'm just looking for points of interest this is really bizarre so we're going around the bend Still going sort of south. I'm fairly confident that we might be on the 307 because of the signs given. But I don't want to go ahead and measure that confidence because I don't think there's going to be that much of it. You don't think we're on the 307? How would Chetumal and Felipe Carrillo Puerto 78 and 82 kilometers apart? I never had a look at the other one. Where is it? Because I saw Chetumal. Where is the, the Puerto? And that's a good point. Felipe Carrillo Puerto, this one? Wait, what? So could we be on this road? It still doesn't make more sense, but if we're going towards the 307, no, it's too close to Felipe Carrillo. Okay, fair enough. But it's it, it's something like that, right? That we should be looking for. We're not on the 307. We're we're going towards the 307, and somewhere on this road there must have been another road that we came out of, maybe closer to here. Why do we have more clues and it makes less sense? Yeah, it's just one of those. Should be pretty much in the middle between the two cities, which brings us back to Kachoban, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But we just can't find a way how to get in or out of it. Plus, what is Kachoban? The, the town is not going to be Kachoban, the, the point of interest that we spawned at. So I'm just becoming really suspicious of that place just not being mapped out, and that gives me a huge headache. Lázaro Cardenas, uh, un kilometro. Did we see that on, this, on the map? I think we did. 184. 
The 184 is here. It's going towards the 307. It's Felipe Carrillo. And it says this will be going south... Well, a little bit southeast, but you know, that angle. I'm, I'm assuming that we're not on the 184. We're going towards 184, right? Oh, it's, um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I am so damn lost here, but completely. I need to go back to the checkpoint. I need to look at those signs again. This is all going to make sense. Wait, it was a point of interest called Lazaro Cardenas where you just were. The shop, you mean? Okay. Oh, could it be like that? Hold on. Superior compass is a go. So close, it almost hurts. But not quite. Yeah, it did say one kilometer. Yeah, yeah. Going south as we were going. So wait. This is gonna be it. I did say it didn't feel like we came out that far from the parking, whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was the 293. Cool. Yeah, well, don't GG just yet, because I haven't sent it. There's no there's no indication of where the thing is where we started. I think this is a souvenir shop. I think. Let's go back to the beginning. How are you positioned? Actually, it's not too bad in terms of position. I was just afraid of this being the information kiosk, you know? Let's see if we can find a path next to it. And check the angle of that. I mean, I'm not really gonna see the path, or am I? There's a bit of it here. Okay, this might be a lifesaver. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's good. So yeah, let's see what happens. Because yeah, Gerioni was saying that it should be where the marker is, but I don't think so. The the, the angle of the path didn't match. But yeah, I can't, I can't continue past there. We can see that the path continues, indeed. But I can't go through it. They couldn't even, like, put a pokey outy bit for the stairs. It was literally someone's job to map it out, and it just went, eh. I think somewhere here. I think it's a little bit more than 25 meters that we get as well, so... Yeah? Yeah. Let's end. Let's see. Too many thoughts and prayers have gone into this one. Let's find out. Okay, 24 meters. I kind of pushed those boundaries, but that's still fine. 24 better than 25. Yeah, I really didn't want to push it. It sort of felt like it could be there, but then I probably neglected to understand how big is the pyramid, even though it's a modestly sized pyramid as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Sonora. Cine Sonora. Okay, this is the last location it should be. On our quest to 25k Mexico, it looks relatively doable. I was just about to say Sonora, is that not a, not a state? I believe it is. There's a Sonora desert, right? Should we have a look for a bigger city in that area? Which would be Sonora here, it goes up to Baja California. Hermosillo? But that doesn't mean you're there. No, not necessarily. But if I was to zoom into Hermosillo and see and see this plaza name come up, I'll be quite happy to send it. But let's have a look at Hermosillo, because so, seriously, if it comes up, I'm just gonna send it and that's it. Plus, a plus, a plus. It looks like city center as well, but this is a bit too big in my humblest. It doesn't look like a small city necessarily, but is it actually that big? Wait, what? E familia, what's the first word? It's not mujer, is it? It's not mujer, is it? It does say mujer. For women and family? What? I just don't, don't get it. Um, let's go where Toro said uh, Nogales. Have we seen any US plates actually? Apart from US cars. Seen in Sonora. It's a north south road. And then this is to our east. Okay. So, wait, is it actually going to be between two roads? I mean, it's possible. It could be a street on the other side, right? If I'm looking at the right one, although at the same time. Could be any of these roads, I guess. What else is next to us? Modulo Centro. It's a big building on to the west. No idea what it is, but it looks kind of governmental. And yeah, this is a one-way road. What was I? Why was I looking at the yellow thing in general? Um, could we be maybe here? This is a north-going one-way road. Didn't have any street names, did we? That would be most helpful. No, but there's something there. There's an intersection. Okay, helpful. And there's a hill or a mountain. Okay, that could also be helpful because maybe they were at some point limited by geography to continue. Um, hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be next to the main road either. It just feels a little bit more city centerish. And what is the actual, actual angle? Maybe on this side it would be slightly better. But again, I need a one-way road going north. 
But yeah, that, that Galleria is, I don't think it's gonna be that, that visible. I think the shops within the Galleria will come up more easily. It should probably move, right? Not gonna get a no moving round in Mexico, sadly enough. But at least we will get to 25k, hopefully. I do like uh, Nogales. It does seem to that it does seem that a lot of streets agree with the angle that I'm looking for. But unfortunately, let's go to the intersection first of all. I'm I'm hopeful that there might be some signs over there that will direct us correctly. Looks very dry. Copel Guerrero. Anyone anyone with more Spanish than me, feel free to. It's just gonna be the name of the shopping center or something like that. Almost feels like a post office, you know. There's more city that way. Oh wait, is that the street name? Amarillas, Cine Senora. Okay, that's fine. Hermodent. Hmm. What was the first time I looked at? City. Hermosillo, wasn't it? I kind of still feel like we could be here. Hermodent kind of feels like it could be still to do with Hermosillo. And if I was to say that, then maybe I would say the word to the to the east of the city, maybe. I don't know where there's more of it, but it feels like there's nature in that direction. Plaza Patio? No, it's not here. Libreria Noroeste. I'm sorry, what is that man doing on the book? Huh. Interesting. Let's have a look. Northeast, Northeast. Plaza Dila. There is Sam's Club again. Uh, we will be looking for a street name Amaria. But you reckon around this area, yeah? It says something about Pacific in big letters, maybe it's coastal? Hermosillo would still be kind of on the west coast, wouldn't it? Northeast again. Matamoros. Oeste is east, I think. Or is it west? West, okay. My bad. If it's Hermosillo, it's probably northwest, in the sense of it's northwestern Mexico. Mm. Just thinking how, how, how much am I willing to invest myself into looking for the right street. Avenida Colosio in Matamoros. Okay, and yeah, it does say Hermosillo, there we go. So let's look for Matamoros, which I'm guessing is going north-south. Are you Matamoros? No. Morelos, not Matamoros. Isn't the city sun colorful letters on the edge of a park? Maybe that helps on the map? Yeah, it does look like a park, doesn't it? Let's have a browse for that. So it's a little park next to a road. I can actually move a little bit further. And next to a park, next to a petrol station. It's a little bit overwhelming searching through city streets, I must be honest. To me, it doesn't feel like center, but you know, I could be dead wrong. So I don't mind zooming in and checking real quick for Motomoros going north-south. But it feels like in another direction there's more city. There's a park. Yeah, I was looking for a park as well. You see, I just keep jumping from one thing to another. It's, it's difficult to to find what I want. You saw it? You saw it? I'm not gonna move. East of Pino Suarez. What is Pino Suarez? Jardin Juarez? South of Jardin. Okay. It's, ah, Matamoros. Okay, well spotted. What were we intersecting with? Again, why do I have such a goldfish memory when it comes to street names? Colossia. Avenida Colosio. Come on, give me a street name. I know you have a name. Oh, I know you have a name. Come on, give me a name. Uh, Donald what? Donaldo Colosio Murieta. Avenida Colosio. Yeah, fuck it, it'll do. And then I need a Mario somewhere. Would be nice. Oshaka, Oshaka, Sonora, Guerrero. Okay, chat. Just west of the park, I saw the Cine Sonora point of interest. Thank you very much. The road passing the park south should be Colosio. Yes. I think you need to zoom in one more level. Uh, there's a library too. Okay. I'm still looking for the Amaria Street, but I must be going mental. It must have never existed, and I'm just making it up. You went south to look for, to look west to see the Koppel store. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, I didn't see it. I, no, no, nothing new. You don't see the plaza. You saw it earlier. Zoom in one more. Okay. One more. Plata season is not There we go. Thank you. Yes, now I saw it. You're absolutely right. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So, middle of here somewhere? I'm guessing we're in the middle of the building. Just doesn't show the, the opening for the pedestrians. Something like that should be alright. <laughs> I nearly lost my mind on this first attempt that it is Mexico. But it looks like this could be it. How can I be sure? How can I be 1 million percent sure that it is not going to be outside of 25 meters? It's only three clicks or so from the intersection. Five, six to the intersection. I think it was six and three. Yeah, the angle is good. Now, about them clicks. 
if I was to use the and um, just quickly put that on the monitor. Yeah, maybe the width of the ham is better. Yeah, so it's one ham up from the intersection, basically. The ham fit says it's there. Was that a squeaky beaver? No, no, it's just a ham. Just a ham. Ham has a bone. It's good for measuring shit on your screen. Let's see. It would be a disaster, yeah, on my first attempt as well. Please be good. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, brain cells well destroyed. Yes, that was well worth it. Only moved around the block a little bit. So that was more more difficult than I needed it to be. First try, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate it. Thank you for all the good vibes, guys. Let's have a look at the summary. It was quite diverse, wasn't it? There we go. A nice big blob of yellow and gold. And everything is great. So what did we have? Top to bottom, Hermosillo. Uh, this place near San Luis on 49. We had Puebla. That was uh, almost no move. And we had Quintana Roo and... Yucatan? Yeah. Quite well represented. Very, very good distribution overall. How long did it take us? This joy of joys. Oh, look at that. Total time, 1 hour, 59 minutes and 16 seconds. So under 2 hours, which is awesome. Round 1, 29 minutes. Round 2, 5 minutes. Round 3, uh, 16 minutes. Round 4, 39 minutes. And round 5, 29 minutes. It was beautiful and easy, just like that. So thank you very much, everyone, for playing along. And uh, what shall we do next?